Yo, welcome back to Couch Gaming, where we game on the couch. You already know that. I'm your master of ceremony, Steve Kiss Maximus. And it's late night. We're going to do one game tonight. And then uh, we're going to call it quits. Uh, it's going to be Dynagear. It's kind of weird. There's not even a Wikipedia on this thing. But it uses the same processor that was in the System 32, which had um golden axe the return death that error have you ever seen that that is insane it has really powerful scaling hardware and all that so sammy who were the same people who made guilty gear um made this game we're about to play Yeah, I know I'm supposed to do a Gradius series thing, but a bit I just got real busy all of a sudden. Yeah, I fixed some drivers that were on my um computer. And now, um, a lot of stuff's working. That's weird that it just did it just then. You know where it, um, flips to the desktop. Some girl is the best. That's, um, harder than what my, um, regular refresh rate is. Mine says a steady 60. That's a little above it. But I have the V-Sync on the TV, so I don't see anything weird. It can do 120 hertz, but since YouTube doesn't do it, so what's the point? I hope you all had a good, safe day. I'm exhausted, I've been busy. Yeah, too bad good switches don't work. Yeah, rapid fire. I don't need it. I have rapid fire on my controller. This is like a wacky story. We'll be the wolf. Why not? I bet everybody's always Roger. Now they go 65 million back years back in time, and I guess everything was wolf people. So we evolved from wolf people in this video game. I don't know. Maybe they were hovering around a planet. They don't really explain that too much. Hover around the planet and they went 65 million years. Whatever. I'm grumpy when I'm tired. <laughs> This needs a turbo button. Oh, okay. You just like annihilate things in this. You're supposed to go really fat. Wow, I cannot get to that. That was weird. Get up high up in the trees. The climbing is kind of weird. Like you gotta jump onto it, then attach to it. Pretty cool if it was like just a jump button, to make it easier. But I guess jump is the right way, and up is the climb. I guess that makes more sense. 
That axe suck. I hate that. You know, I used to think there was a special version of this. I guess I was wrong. There's only one. The arrow is probably my favorite weapon. Just because it hums. That spinning um, mace thing is pretty cool, but it sucks against bosses. Yeah, they don't even have a Wikipedia on this. They use some of the assets in um that Sammy game. It was a fighting game. It was like a, oh man, I'm just a big fan. It was like their first fighting game. Some angels or something. Now, I'm not sure, I know that the people who made Samurai Showdown 2 joined Sammy and they went on to make Guilty Gear, but I'm not sure if that game is produced by them, I'm not really sure what happened to those guys, because Guilty Gear came out in 2000, and Samurai Showdown 2 came out in like, what, 94? 93, 94, something like that. So what were those guys doing between them? Yeah. This axe ain't that bad. They're blocking me and do nothing. What are they supposed to be? Crocodile werewolves? So, uh, I guess on the. So, the wolf. Thing is like a native of this planet. I think we are explaining that. So I guess you know how like people turn into werewolves in the human world. I guess in the werewolf world they turn into crocodiles. I don't know, it's the same. Oh, yeah. He's just like this big sprite that just floats around the screen. <laughs> There's a little, you know, oh, that's not, is that scaling? I think it is. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I gotta keep this controller away from this microphone. I, I watched the video last time, and I heard that clickety clankety thing, and I was like, that must be annoying. So, anybody who wants that, my apologies. I will try to be better. Spaceship has crashed. The werewolves speak very stoically. <laughs> Yeah, not much, but straight to the point, you yeah. know. Spaceship is crashed. Gotcha. Who's it gonna be paying this? Did I miss him? Oh, he doesn't miss him. Did he call it the hammer?
Yeah. If anybody remembers, uh, this is this pretty good. It's like kind of like a plushy toy. Or like a cute version of what people in nineteen twenties in the film industry thought dinosaurs look like. <laughs> There's films from back then that have been flipped and there's like missing pieces of them. It's kinda like Star Wars, like it's all ruined now. Like, I don't want Star Wars anymore. I've seen it like a billion times. But, like... The original one. The New Hope. That thing has been butchered so bad. Oh, wow, you can do a thing. Okay. So, um... The original theatrical release. You know, it was like widescreen. It wasn't a 4x3 aspect ratio, it was a wide triangle, why well, I said triangle, rectangle, you know what I mean? And the only, um, full, like, best home copy that we have is the Laserdisc version, and that's 4x3, so you're missing, like, a whole bunch of, like, what was on that movie theater screen. So some guys took, um, some clips or whatever like that and they put them with the blu-ray version and stuff like that and now you have like this high quality awesome version of Star Wars A New Hope. You can find it on Archive. It's probably like the best way to watch that movie. Yeah, the end Sonic, I don't know if y'all saw that when I was messing with the volume. Um, it's a stereo. Most arcade games had mono. Even the um, freaking CPS3. I mean, I said CPS3. The SH3 games that Cave was us to. Um, they were in mono too. This actually has stereo sound. I got a buddy. Um, Big blue front end. And um, he made a version of main that does um, 7.1 stereo. Like, even if it's mono, it will do the 7.1 stereo. It's really sick. It, it sounds really cool on my Dolby Acro system. Yeah, they should talk to somebody at Maine about that. I mean, it's just it's like, well, I don't know. Like, or, like, he can make his own version of it. Maybe cool if they can put it on Retro Arch, so I can use my shaders. I have these specialty shaders. And that's why this stuff looks so good. And it takes the dithering. So it's like the checkerboard transparencies, or you see the, you know, it looks really nasty. It turns it into transparencies. Usually you have to use like a composite filter or something like that, and it looks all blurry and all that. It's like real terrible. But I use um, GTU, which is way better than bilinear. And then I put the checkerboard on top of it with um, scan lines. Really, really faint scan lines. And it gives it that nice bloom. I 
and still look real sharp. Yeah. I, I would even say that the way that I got this set up, it looks better than the CRT. I used to swear by CRTs, but the way I got this set up, nah, I can't call it, it looks even way better in 4K. Way better in 4K, but you know, live streaming only can do so much. Yeah, YouTube and um, Twitch only allow 1080p 60 frames per second um, uploading. Facebook got only 70. And I think the maximum bitrate was um, 6,000. Which kind of sucks because the best for 1080p is actually 8,000. It looks like some Fox cartoon. Fox cartoons, like character or something like that. Like a evil Denver the Dinosaur character. Does anybody remember Denver the Dinosaur? I remember that episode. Look, Denver the Dinosaur. Don't even laugh at me for this shit. For remembering all this. Look. So they found this dinosaur frozen and he's anamorphic kind of and he coherent with human beings anyway there's this episode where these two people had to, they had their own restaurant they were brothers one had a pizza shop and the other one left and he made a taco shop they got into an argument and got made a taco shop so at the end of the long story short at the end of the dang episode they got together and they made pizza tacos or taco pizzas everybody was happy or, you know glad I got to share that with y'all god I have the theme song in my head now it's terrible but do yourselves a favor and just don't look that up don't even don't do it to yourself Then you can't break through these pillars. Your style reminds me a lot of Data East. It's like Data East got this style where they have faint black outlines, they only use them in some places. Usually on clothes, like if you see his uh, loincloth and stuff, it's got black outlining. It's like a Dady East thing. Wow, I found a secret. Whoa. <laughs> oh man, I'll remember that one. Dang. So they. Alright. I see. I, I see. You gotta jump over there. Alright. I guess the um, double jump is not as good as I thought. Oh, okay. That's how you're gonna do it. And that, wow. Sneaky. Like, how am I supposed to know that he's going to do that? This is like the first time playing Metal Sonic and Sonic the Hedgehog 2. <laughs> yeah, I can talk about video games all day.
the sword is pretty well rounded. It covers a lot of area. Like if somebody's like below you, yeah, that's very helpful. I just experienced that. Oh wow, it did another one. That was as much as the other. This looks like the ones that are in Castlevania games. What are these called? Calm down. What what happened? Wow. I'm tired, y'all, sorry. Dang, how was I supposed to know that rock was gonna come down there? Oh, and then that one. Oh you already know it's gonna come down the other side. Come on. Oh, I'm getting mad. <laughs> I'm getting mad! <laughs> Oh, at least I got the arrow. That's a huge boss. I mean, I have all that on the screen at one time. With that much detail, that's pretty good. failed at this last time. I might make it this time. Oh no! I did it. I wish I would got the heart though. Last time I failed. I got really get good at that double jump. Hey, we'll start playing these games for real sometime. I'm just trying to go through them and show them what so show you kind of stuff like that. Did this hurt you? Cricket honey is back. Hunt, hunt some crickets, me. He's like super focused on his goal. Yeah, we have crickets in the house, and. This cat is on it. He does nothing but kill crickets all day long. He is the he is the cricket's worst nightmare. Yeah, we used to have a lot of chirping. Yeah, it's annoying because I know they're saying nothing but come have sex with me. I guess that's a polite way of saying that. But anyway, it's gotten real quiet since he's been eating them.
There is this cat named Kit. He was a big black cat. He was cool. I like him. He used to catch birds out of the sky. His favorite thing to eat was chipmunk birds. Like he would just leave the body on the front porch with no head and he'd just eat the head. I've seen him do it. It's like kinda of weird, just like crunch, crunch. Like it actually makes it crunch, you can't hear the no, <laughs> I know some of y'all don't want to hear that. <laughs> That's what happened. That's the truth. That's reality. Some of y'all gotta deal with reality. I can see these ones in the game yet. So it like, it grew wings? That had me really confused, because some of them didn't have wings and some did. And maybe it's just like the art style was weird and they didn't think it out too well. You know, since the video game generation, I was thinking that I was really thinking about this today. Look, I bet these three words are some of the most common words now because this happens to people all the time in video games, and we've been saying it for about 30 years now. I'm dead, died. Killed. Like when people play first person shooters, they'd be like, oh man, I died. I got killed. Oh, I killed him. You know what I'm saying? Like video games, as much as people try to say that they're good for you and stuff like that, they are violent. A lot of them are violent. Most of them. You know, I'm smacking him with this thing. Look at that. That's crazy. I might even blow up for some reason. I need to blow up. <laughs> it's like some giant ant lion or something. It's gotta be. Whenever I see antlion dens, in video games, I keep on thinking that something that looks like, um, the one from Ghouls and Ghosts is gonna pop out. Hey, if y'all just tuning in. This is Couch Gaming, where we game on the couch, that's what we do. I'm your Master of Ceremonies, Steve Agus Maximus.
I want to figure out how to put a soundboard on APS. When I get one of those Abernicks that I won off a of, um, Schmuck Junkie, I got a, another display over there. And I can hook that Abernick up over there and I could um, use that as a control board for all my video stuff. I could add some sound effects and stuff. That'd be cool. I used to have a tablet. I don't know what happened to it. I think I left it at like an ex girlfriend's house or something. I'm like, yeah, I'm moving out. I'm going to my tablet. Peace. That sky looks pretty trippy. It's like a palette swapper, like green one that we fought as a boss. Oh, he's my buddy. Oh, okay. He's fighting a rock. Okay. I guess that's you could be fighting rocks. I can hear him though, it's a, it's a big ass watermelon. I'm not even gonna lie, it, we've seen a watermelon that big. I'm guessing that these characters, they used to live with six foot tall. The other guy is probably bigger. I have never seen. A watermelon that went past my knees, and this is this is a burly werewolf at six foot tall. You know, what I mean, look at him. Did you see the size of that watermelon? That was a magnificently big watermelon. We saw these guys in the intro. We all remember that. Yeah, this is another game that's not like Contra, like how this thing shoots. So you can't shoot in diagonal. Contra, you can shoot in every direction. Yeah, I remember when I was talking about Metal Slug, how you can only like shoot upwards like this. Well, you can't even, you know, in Contra you can jump and you can shoot down diagonally. Or you can run and shoot diagonally. You can't do that in Metal Slug.
Who was I thinking of when I saw that? Before I realized they were snakes when they just jumped off the screen, I thought of um, the ninja from G.I. Joe. On the Joe team. That is his name is. Because the colors are similar, that's why. Jumps backwards. Forward. Right, See, I learn. <laughs> What's this fucker again? Let's see what I do. Let one float out. Okay. I'm trying to kill these. Freaking mind things at the top, and it's getting me all disoriented. Because I can't jump with those things in the air. Whatever fake metal Sonic. What was that G.I. Day name? Oh my god, that's not even crazy. I'm still thinking about that. This is why I need a tablet. Or a real webcam. Yeah, I can buy like a real webcam. This sword doesn't do a lot of damage. Either that or this guy is more powerful than his second form. I think I killed him way faster with the arrow. At least because I'm getting hit so much in the close to him. You know, we can all make it always the arrow. Just like the arrow. It would have been cool if there was like some secret weapon in the uh, cheat. They do that sometimes. I've got some games that do some wild stuff with the cheat codes. Like, Raiden 2, you can have it maxed out on all the colors, and you get like four weapons at the same time, including like your basic weapon. It's really nutty. Imagine using the spaghetti laser and the blue laser at the same time. Yeah, it's crazy. I love that spaghetti laser. But you would never see that in the arcade. It would never happen. You can only do it with emulation. Unless somebody, like, took that code and put it into the ROM, it shouldn't be too hard for somebody who knew what they were doing and just put it onto an arcade board. They just had to desolder the chips and then um, get an EEPROM burner or something like that and put the, re burn them.
Jeez, him and that butt attack is gnarly. I'm gonna get away from him. Oh, you gotta roll. Does it roll like a parry or does that? Well, you, you can't get hurt by that roll. Well, he gave me three butts. Three flying butts. There's a morph over. This is ridiculous, dude. It's just a... That was... No. Whatever. It's cheating. Okay, so now that I know that the spin attack... I mean, the spin is, um... A defensive thing. I'll try to use it more often. <sighs> I'm too sleepy for this. <laughs> I really am. He's taking forever to die. What just happened there? Oh, you were. I'll turn my tail right back now, so... We don't have that issue with that... Signature. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I think I finished my thing. My spaceship's broken. Yeah, this is real sad. He's waiting for somebody to come get him. At least like 65 million years in the past. And he's gonna start aging. Watch, all his hair is gonna fall out. And he's still gonna be waiting there. It's really sad. Yeah, he just went bald. He yeah, went balder. His clothes are more tattered. Now he's completely bald. Bigger hole in his pants. Way less hair. Skinnier. The backpack fell off eventually. Same guys who made. Well, 93. That must have been an expensive arcade board to buy. Well, that's it for tonight, y'all. Thank you for joining me on Couch Gaming. Where we play video games on the couch. That's what we do. Master of Ceremonies. Stevie Kiss Maximus. And y'all have a good night.